Democrat fire. Tonight, congressional gridlock. Who's to blame? The Republicans won't pass any laws. Oh, well, because they're the stupid laws that you're putting out, Obama. Well, you can't just do every vote along party yeah, lines. Yeah, you the people who voted for that wanted us to vote for what they believed in. Why don't we ever hug anymore? Oh, because you're the I love you. I love oh, you. Oh, 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 the passion. Now, that is an actual ghost. Welcome back. Now it's time for our interview segment, Know You Open Up. Joining us from the panel this time is reality vixen, Princess. Mm -hmm. Princess, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Now, your career started off uh, rather infamously. Yeah. Um, you were the uh, star of a sex tape. I look amazing in night vision, don't I? Uh, yes, there's something about the, uh, the glow of your eyes that yeah. uh, is enchanting. But since then, you've you've done a, a bit of an image makeover, and you're very active in social causes, and yeah. uh, most notably with adoption. Tell us about your unique family. Well, I've traveled the world, and I s found that it was much easier to get kids in poor countries than it is in America, because I tried to adopt local, and they would not give me an American kid. But you go to another country, and they basically just throw them at you. What would people tell you when you went to adopt American puppies? Oh, they just said I wasn't fit. And what were the reasons they listed? Oh, well, I'm, you know, I'm a drug addict, <laughs> recreational. I have violent mood swings. I'm a borderline personality disorder. That's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but family is very important to you. Are you are you close with your own parents? No, I was emancipated from them when I was a teen. What led to, to that decision? Well, basically, I was making a bunch of money, and they wanted some of it, so I decided to keep all my money. When's the last time you spoke um, to your parents? When I sued them, because uh, she tried to write a tell-all book, I said, F*** you, bitch, but that was about it. In, in court, did you say that? Yeah, and on the phone and on her answering machine. Is it hard to find a dog... Uh, who isn't neutered? Emotionally or physically, right? Ah! Right. <laughs> both, <laughs> yes, both, it which, is. Yeah. It's really hard. Yeah, but you yourself are spayed. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that a decision you regret? No, I would have had a kid. I don't want to stretch that area out. I got to keep it tight for the camera. With all your uh, your causes, you're so busy all the time. Do you ever find the time to relax? All the, right now, I'm not even 100% here. What do you mean you're not 100% here? Oh, just then. I was uh, I was on vacation in my mind. Oh, so you're thinking of other things. No, I've literally gone into an alternate reality. You know that movie, uh, When the Rabbit Howls, that lady who had multiple personalities? I've heard of it, but I haven't seen it. Yeah, I have a talkative personality that talks to people, but the rest of me is just sleeping. So when you're talking to me right now, I'm not getting... Leave her alone! Leave her alone! Who am I speaking to right now? You are speaking to Betsy! I was conducting an interview with Princess for television, and I really need to talk to her. Princess is mine! That, that says maybe, Betty. What happened? Oh my god, Princess. You seem to have been taken over, possessed by uh, another personality. Oh, yeah, that's another reason I can't have kids. My personality hates kids. Do you have a favorite personality? Well, Tomatillo only speaks Spanish. Mm -hmm. Frank's the sex addict. Mm -hmm. Viscosity is real cerebral. Well, Princess, thank you very much for being our guest, and uh, Merry Christmas to you and your entire gigantic family. Thank you. We'll be right back. 